Unraveling the mystery of Reed Crow, a dive into English idioms. Hello, fellow language enthusiasts. Welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a rather unique phrase, Reed Crow. Now, this might stump even some native speakers because it's not a common idiom or expression. So, if you've encountered this and are scratching your head, worry not. We're going to dissect this phrase and understand its usage, if any, in English. Let's dive in. Before we tackle, read crow, let's understand what idioms and phrases are. Idioms are expressions that don't mean what they literally say. For example, it's raining cats and dogs. Doesn't mean pets are falling from the sky. It means it's raining heavily. Phrases are groups of words that together have a meaning, but unlike idioms, that meaning can often be understood from the individual words. Read crow doesn't fall neatly into either category. It's not a standard idiom nor a phrase commonly used in English. This might lead us to believe it's either a very niche saying or possibly a mix up with other similar sounding words. Now, let's take a closer look at reed crow. A reed is a type of tall, thin grass that grows in wet areas. And a crow is a large, intelligent black bird. Normally, we wouldn't pair these words together as they don't form a known idiom or phrase. So, if you've heard reed crow, it might be a case of mistaken identity. Perhaps it's a mishearing of something else or a literal combination of reed and crow for a specific context, such as describing a crow sitting on a reed. But in the realm of idiomatic expressions or common English usage, it doesn't have a recognized meaning. It's possible reed crow could be confused with phrases like eat crow which means to admit you were wrong about something often in a humiliating way, or, as the crow flies, meaning the most direct path between two points. In English, it's quite common to mix metaphors or jumble words, especially when learning the language. So, it's always good to double check if what we've heard or read is accurate, or if there might have been a miscommunication. Sometimes, what seems like an idiom or a phrase might not be one at all. It could be a creative expression or a literal description used in a novel or a poem. English is rich with such creative uses of language, which might not be found in dictionaries but still convey meaning in context. If read crow was used in a piece of creative writing, its interpretation would depend on the context provided by the author. It could symbolize something unique to the story or the message the author wants to convey. We hope this exploration into Read Crow has been enlightening. Remember, English is a language full of surprises, and not everything we come across will fit into neat boxes. That's part of the beauty and challenge of learning it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more interesting dives into the English language. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.